So this is the first problem example on the built up section. So let's see what the problem says. So you have a wooden uh, built up box beam. So it's a box beam that you see because it looks like a box. So you have, uh, you know, two different boards. You have this board over here, this board over here and two vertical boards and all of them are fastened with these fasteners which are the nails over here. You are given the allowable shear force in each nail. So in each nail can take up to 800 newtons, not more than that. Beyond that, the nails will fail, right? So what you're supposed to find is the permissible nail spacing. So that is this S. So this is the, you know, cross section view and this is the side view. Side view means if you're looking from here. So this is a continuous board, right? So if you have a continuous board, when you're looking from here, this is a nail and, you know, behind that there is a nail, behind that there is a nail. So these are the different nails that you're looking at when you're looking from the side view. And it says that the applied shear force, so this entire cross section is, sub, is uh, subjected to a shear force of 10.5 kN. So how do we do this problem? Now, before we start writing it down, we have to find, you know, that uh, we know that the Q is, you know, F times uh, or Q times S equals to F and, you know, that will give us the, uh, the, the spacing that is there. So let's just write the basic formula first. And let's see, so in this, this example, we'll do a little bit more in details in finding out the different parameters. So the idea is clear to you, right? So let's, let's first write our, you know, basic generic formula that we have that my uh, Q, I know that at Q total, right, equals to V times Q divided by I. So this is the total Q, which is, you know, resistors. Let's just consider the top one over here, the total Q, that is total V, the total, you know, the small Q total. So that is the total resisting the total V, which is acting over there, right? Okay, so now uh, if you see in this formulation, there are two parameters again, which are of interest over here. One of them is this guy Q, which you see, right? And the other one is I. So let's just calculate the Q first. Now remember that we had discussed that for which area should you calculate the Q. So you hold the section below the neutral axis, you just fix it, you apply a shear. And then when you apply this one at the shear, you will see that this is the area which is trying to get sheared off and essentially the nails are provided to prevent shearing of that area. So the area for which we have to calculate the Q is essentially this area that is over here. So let's just calculate the Q for that. So the Q for that is going to be uh, your uh, Q is remember it is always the formula is the same A prime times Y bar prime. So in this case, my A prime is this area over here, which is 180 times this depth that is 40 mm. So that is uh, 180 times 40, right? So this is my A prime times Y bar prime is the distance of the centroid of this area from the neutral axis, which is also given 120. The total board is 40. So up to this central line, you see it is given 120 mm. So it is going to be times 120. So if you uh, plug in the numbers in your calculator and you calculate it, you will get it as 864. 864000. Uh, your uh, meter cube so that is remember the cube with the unit of q is the is the length times q okay now the other thing which to cal to, to compute in this uh, formula that you see is this denominator i over here now i remember is for the entire section so i for this entire section it's a scooped out rectangle that you have so that will be the for the whole solid one minus this guy over here so i'm just going to write it out so in case you're unclear how to calculate the i you will know that as well. So I for the entire thing is 1 by 12 times uh, B, which is 180 plus 15, 15, which is uh, 210. Uh, so 1 by 12 times uh, 210 times uh, D cube, that is 280. So that is assuming that the entire thing is solid. From that, we have to subtract the area moment of inertia of this hollow portion that is there. So minus 1 by 12 times the depth of this hollow portion is 200. Total is 280 minus 40 minus 40 top and below. So times, uh, sorry, it will be 180 times 200 cubes. So 100 times 180 times 200 cubes. So that will give you. I have this number calculated already 264.2 times 10 raised to 6. You can calculate this one at your ease. Mm raised to 4. The, the unit of area moment of inertia is length raised to 4. Okay. 
So now that we have these quantities over here, let's calculate the Q total. So the Q total is going to be what? So the Q total will be equals to the V is given 10.5. So it is 10.5 times 10 cube. I'm calculating in your uh, Newton and, and mm and so on times the Q that we calculated, which is this guy over here. Divide, I'm just not writing the numbers divided by I, which is this guy over here. Now, if you plug that in, you will get the Q total comes out as 34.3 Newton per mm. Why is it Newton per mm? You remember that Q is your tau times T. So, tau is Newton per mm square, uh, T is mm. So, 1 mm cancels out. So, it is Newton per mm. So, the, so the unit for uh, shear flow Q, right? is a force uh, per unit length okay so now this is the total q now how many rows of bolts are there there are two rows of bolts as you see over here two rows of bolts so that means q for each row of bolt is going to be what that is going to be q total divided by two so q for each if we have to write it is q total divided by two right now that we have this one we are going to find the spacing in between the bolts. How do we find that? You remember the Q times each times S, the spacing equals to the uh, force resisted by the bolt, that is F. Now, the maximum force resisted by the bolts here is 800 Newton. So, let's write the expression first that Q each times the spacing S equals to F. Right? So, if you plug in the values over here, see here, this is known from the previous line f is known f is the maximum force your each bolt can take so f is essentially this guy is 800 newton so the only thing which are missing here is s so if you plug in the numbers over here this will eventually give you that the spacing in between the bolts that is s comes out as 46.6 so i hope this you know problem example was clear in which we you know took the total shear we calculated the total uh, small q that is q total now we have two rows of bolts we divided that by two and from that we calculated the spacing